if you set aside the possibility that religions are correct, and that's kind of a prerequisite to listening to this show, one of the few potential justifications left for them is the argument that even without being true, they can encourage people to do the right thing. Sure, it may be a lie, but it's a lie that tells people to love their neighbor and treat others the way that they would like to be treated. Now, to be clear, even if it were true, that would be a terrible justification. If I convinced a bunch of people that I was an oracle who could commune with the ancestors and see the future, that would be immoral regardless of how good the advice I gave my petitioners was. I mean, to keep with the analogy, I'd have to first tell them to give me 10% of their income and the rest of my advice would have to randomly switch between useless platitudes and calls for bigotry. But even if all I used my prophetic powers for was telling people to eat a balanced diet and get plenty of exercise, it would still be immoral. But as bad as that justification is... Turns out religions can't actually do that shit anyway. And we're being reminded of that daily as we watch religious leaders the world over desperately try to rein in their own stupid long enough to get people vaccinated. When Mormon leadership issued a statement last Thursday reminding their members the importance of getting the jab, the response was an uproar against the leadership. Some like 50% of practicing Mormons are refusing to get vaccinated, so it's a moral fucking imperative to change their minds. And yet the quorum of 12 apostles was completely useless in swaying their opinions. Now keep in mind, by Mormon mythology, these people are prophets, seers, revelators, and special witnesses of Jesus Christ himself. And yet they were unable to move the needle on vaccines. And move the needle. That's pretty, that's pretty good. And, and, and that's hardly unique. Hell, it's not even the best example, right? None other than the goddamn Pope has been screaming himself hoarse for months about the importance of getting vaccinated. And yet I've got stories here out of North Carolina and Colorado about Catholic churches handing out a free religious exemption to vaccination with every magical cracker. The Pope is supposed to be the goddamn direct successor of St. Peter and small detail here, in fucking fallible. Their religion is built around the idea that this guy is physically incapable of being incorrect, and yet even Catholic priests are rejecting his authority for the sake of promoting their anti-vax message. Now, to be fair, there's some evidence that religious leaders are able to make a difference here, especially with communities of color. A recent survey by PRRI showed at least a nominal decrease in so-called vaccine hesitancy that they could attribute to religious messaging among Hispanic Catholics and black Protestants. But even that meager victory pales in comparison to the effectiveness of doctors on the same group of people. The survey after survey shows that for pretty much every category of people, regardless of their religiosity, the authority most likely to change their minds on vaccines is a doctor. Now, I, you know, medicine is their area of expertise, so you might think that's irrelevant to the larger discussion. Of course, people are more likely to trust the medicine expert on matters of medicine. They're also probably more likely to trust the religion expert on matters of religion. And, and that may be true, but it's worth noting that doctors never had to lie to get there. Doctors didn't have to say that the, their patients were immortal or pretend their dead pets were waiting for them in the bonus stages or offer up some contrived meaning for their existence to earn their trust. Doctors managed to gain it just by telling them the truth, even when the truth was fucking brutal. I mean, if you think about it, it should seem obvious that making your living lying to people is a terrible way to instill trust. You know, all religion ever told anybody is what they wanted to hear. How the hell is that going to prime them for hard truths? It's like, sorry to show my Gen Xness here, but you remember that Simpsons episode where Bart's trying to convince the dog trainer that Santa's little helper is trained by shouting out retroactive commands like go over there and sniff that dog's butt? You know, in the cartoon, Bart wasn't able to convince the trainer, but in the analogy, religious leaders were able to convince themselves the dog was trained. I, I think about that. So, like, religion says when you die, you, you level up and you go to paradise. And everybody's like, you bet your ass we do. Hell yeah. And then he said, and, and all the people you don't like that fucked you over and made you feel silly for believing that, they all go to eternal torture land. And everybody was like, hell yeah, I like this guy. And then he said, and the guy who fashioned the universe did it because he knew you were going to need a place to put your stuff eventually. And he loves you and he looks after you and he has a special plan that you play an important role in. And the crowd said, mommy, mommy, can we keep him? And the religious idiot sat there thinking, wow, I can convince these guys of anything. You know, meanwhile, the whole time science just told the damn truth. Yeah, you know, once in a while it would play religion's game by telling us that we were all made from stardust without mentioning that the same is true of pigeon shit. But even when they did shit like that, they didn't abandon truth to get there. 
And keep in mind that as tough a truth as there is no afterlife and you're just a mutated monkey are, they're all the harder when they have to compete with religion's untethered bullshit. But since science kept making iPhones and spaceships and stuff, even the religious people decided to keep them around, though they continued to ignore all the dismal shit they had to say about, you know, mortality and random chance. And what we inadvertently created, or advertently created, I don't know, was a system where those inclined to only hear the answers they wanted could switch back and forth between science and religion as they needed. More and more, in fact, that came to define religion's role in society. Some of the questions we ask have really scary answers that people would rather not dwell on. So religion's role increasingly became coming up with easy, satisfying, and ideally untestable answers to sub in. When you didn't like the answers that science gave you, you turned to religion. Now, the idea was that the questions we'd be subbing in religious answers for were mostly going to center around death and what comes afterwards. But apparently the American right is so full of snowflakes that answers like, yeah, man, you got to get the fucking shot were enough to trigger the backup plan. And that's where we are now. When the religious leader says, change your mind on vaccines, the people change their mind on religious leaders. And why the fuck wouldn't they? When the guy whose job is to tell you what you want to hear doesn't tell you what you want to hear, why the hell wouldn't you fire him? 